G'day guys. Now when we go out snapper fishing, everyone says, what's it a burly? What are you using? It's a combination. Let me show you what we're putting in the bag. And all I have to do is a big soft bag like this, because if I've got old carcasses at home, old muleys, I can just stuff them in there. It's nice and stretchy. Doesn't matter what shape, they're frozen, and we can make them work. Now, a couple of bits and pieces to it. I like these tuna logs. These are actually just concentrated tuna oil. It's really good getting the slick going. This is awesome smell, but also attracts lots of small bait fish, and we want them feeding fish sound in the water, and that's what this smaller burley is doing. Fish logs just minced up fish, but I don't take the whole thing out of the bag because it dissolves a bit too quick. So I put like a couple of slits in the bag, both sides, just like that. And then I put the whole plastic bag straight into the burley bag. And then that way it's a bit more slow release and we'll get a good couple of hours out of it. So I like a couple of those. This Bevan's one's just purely more mushed up burley, bushed up muleys. So there's a couple of those and a bag of pallets just for all the little feeding fish to feed on. Now some of these will fall straight through, but it doesn't matter because um, we want them in the water. We want them getting herring, snook, wrasse, all those things going, make the sound of a feeding frenzy which will bring the bigger snapper and things around. So get all of that in there. Lots in here. Give them a little string. We'll get this hung over the side in the water. And that's the basis of our smell and the uh, cubes just for all those smaller fish. Get that in the drink when you first land. And then we're going to go to cubing, and I'll show you that in a second. Him in there. And don't drop it to the bottom because it just cause a problem. Right down the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Keep it up on the top. You'll notice we've just dropped that burger bag, it's just sitting level on the top of the surface. Down the bottom is going to cause me nothing but trouble. Tangles, I get that big one, he wraps around, not going to be happy. We're only 12 metres of water. That burly is just going to float down to the bottom. You can always already see the slick that that's starting to make. Let's chop up a few cubes, get in the water, and we're going to get some floaters out there so we can find ourselves some pink snapper. I know they're here. These tricks and tips are just to help you have some more success, like we do, hopefully. Let's see what happens tonight.